Chapter 5. The systems that need reformation and the systems that need revolution. Simply put it, uh, all the systems, infrastructures, bureaucracies and protocols that were implemented before the 1990s uh, need at least to be revised and maybe reformed or revolutionized. Even those that are contemporary are brought uh, by conceptions made previously. Um, so, however, with a bigger capacity to understand uh, the revolution that occurred and act on it, there are much more not notions of how to address it now, and because of it, also more knowledge of the mistakes that uh, might be incurred in case of um, light or drastic change. The reason for um, this, uh, uh, the reason is because communication and the passing uh, over of information suffered a tremendous technological revolution. And expecting that this system stay the same or not, uh, proceed to structural uh, procedures uh, that take into consideration this revelation is in fact pre prejudicial and can produce unexpected consequences. As of now, it's possible to see some of these consequences uh, directly connected uh, with all the structures implemented to produce, analyze and expose information. Um, and these are significantly threatened by um, disinformation, virtual social addiction, lack of reasoning and critic spirit, inaccuracy, man manipulation, polarization and aggression, and many other. These systems are mostly those that directly deal with information, such as news outlets, the educational system, and governing bodies and institutions. Markets are another structure that needs and uses fast-paced information. However, and because the BET system aims to reshape the economic structure in itself, mostly due to the shift from money and accumulated wealth value to information and wisdom and human value. This chapter will focus essentially in other civilization, uh, civilizational structures that need and might change in the future to support existence and the reach of a sustainable life. Uh, the education system, uh, like I told, uh, like I uh, have uh, 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 told you about in the previous, uh, in the in, two, in the third chapter, uh, is the one that needs changing first and foremost. That is the reason uh, chapter three regards it fully and through uh, technological input. However, it's not only the, the existing technology that needs to change, but many other structural issues. Nowadays, there is a focus in the content given to a group of individuals, regardless of their interests and future own expectations. And uh, even if it's taken into consideration that one of the most important skills for the future is creativity um, in between others. However, uh, not only the system is not capable to uh, evaluate or bring it uh, to the forefront of its own necessities, since it's not flexible enough to do that, but also it's too self-absorbed uh, in keeping it uh, as it is, that it, it no longer allows adaptation in the content and uh, how the reception of the students can change if the ways it is delivered changed as well. One of the fundamental issues regards the inefficacy to identify new development pa parameters, uh, evaluate them and integrate them in the system, being the case of emotive uh, functions and connections, a specific topic that should not only be completely wrapped uh, with the education system, but more than that, be considered a significant aspect of education by itself. By not modernizing the educational system, Society will be condemning its future and itself to past notions and past solutions that no longer serve and resolve the problems of today, much less the ones of tomorrow. Some of the big thing, some of the things proposed by the BET system, uh, go along with some of the notions that can reshape the basis for a fairer and more sustainable future like the value of human beings and the freedom to choose the way 
that one individual can be uh, more useful for a group of people or humanity in general. And when connected with a profound restructure of the educational system, it's possible to achieve a more knowledgeable and perhaps an even wiser society that can in groups decide um, their best outcome and in sharing it, a better uh, humanity overall. Resuming, uh, to achieve the next step in human development, it's necessary to count on an uh, educational system that uh, not only presents the tools, but also gives anyone the chance to use them in the ways that better help us all. The healthcare system is uh, one like the educational system that has a lot to gain with the implementation of the BET system. Um, nowadays, it has been re recognized the necessity and benefits of social health care. However, like the educational system, there is no way to reap direct benefits from it in this economical structure. Put it simply, there is no worth in saving someone's life, mainly because there is no value to uh, assign directly to any human. And for this reason, the current system depends on charity and the goodwill of governments and even the extortion of medical personnel by pharmaceutic, uh, pharmaceutical corporations. Furthermore, the current concept of universal basic healthcare is one that does not equally translate into a basic set of procedures and means that uh, are needed to guarantee life to all humans in the world. Uh, democracy is the best governing system, uh, however, currently is not keeping up with the pace and the fluidity of information. For this reason, it's necessary to rethink the current model of democracy and instead of being representative, try to aim higher and construct the tools that can help individuals achieve something more close to the ideal of democracy instead of the current model. For this reason, this is Probably the system that is the most easy to reshape, however, it's likely to be the hardest to do it, mostly thanks to the political barriers that might appear, being the individual transfer of power from the political parties and institutions to the general public, probably the highest glass ceiling to break. Furthermore, there is the necessity to digitalize processes, both bureaucratic and operational that in turn can revitalize and approximate individuals to the decision power. Firstly, at the local level, but most essentially at the global level. And because corporations already play at the global level, create a newfound way to give power to the consumers, which uh, through governmental structures have more freedom to align themselves and those close to them with more global goals and decide what are the best solutions to their specific problems in correlations with global issues. The resource management uh, is uh, without a doubt the system that will most change with the BET implementation, mostly because it regards on current economic structures to operate in the current form. However, this is also the structure that needs mostly to change, and this can only occur with the restructuring of the economic structure, like the implementation of the BET system. Many of the issues that currently plague humanity are directly connected to this structure. Poverty and hunger, for example, regard a lack of a specific survival necessities, goods and even basic services like health and education, between other specific causes. Also, clim climate change is deeply rooted with the way resource man management is being held by global enterprises that favor profit or specific uh, countries over global human necessities. One interesting way to exemplify this issue is to put it in comparison to um, uh, two different products and oppose their utility values uh, uh, versus their availability. To do this uh, thought uh, experiment, let's generalize the concepts of food and plastic. Food is available to a certain percentage of hum human population, and it can be produced in enough quantity to feed every single human being on the planet. At the same time, it is necessary uh, to tackle some simple survival needs. However, 
thanks to the current system, it's possible to disregard those that produce it by paying them very small amounts for their productions and still create a dependable system by denying a big chunk of, of the population to it. Through scarcity, uh, also it relies on it uh, being wasted and thrown away to keep all those that benefit from it at fault. Uh, the plastics, in other hand, uh, that uh, in, in are uh, another way that can uncover the flaws of both the economic and resource management structures. First of all, there is abundance and uh, uh, in such way that instead of being rerouted towards utility and necessity, is enforced in everything else. But these issues, um, furthermore the products made by it can be reused and recycled recycled however there is little interest in doing so since it disrupts the market specifically in what regards one of its fundamental basis basis which is the resources exploration to achieve a post scarcity world it's uh, fundamental to rethink this structure both at a local and global level However, the current system regards scarcity as one of the major value uplifters of, of economy, making it very difficult to everyone that lived through the current system to think in a, a different way. One way to tackle these issues is to allow production of specific necessities at the local level and restructure global necess necessities to be localized in such a way that can be reachable by everyone. Furthermore, um, it is necessary to think this structure and the infrastructure that it depends on to be more cyclical and organic and align it with ecological standards in order to achieve a more regenerative culture and in doing so augment the value of humanity. Another structure that is necessary to reimagine is the energy supply chain. Although this is deeply connected with resource management, uh, it is indispensable for our present and future. And for that reason, is worth to um, put it in a different light. The resources need to produce energy um, are not entangled with humanity's survival. In fact, uh, are one of the major causes of uh, for environmental disruption, and for this reason, is it's possible to draw a direct line from the exploration and distribution distribution of these resources, and the prescient climate catastrophe. Uh, however, there have been multiple researches and problem-solving ideas that lack the proper investment, mainly due to its its disruptive nature of the current economic structure. The biggest problems, however, is the lack of cooperation inputted by the lack of interest of the current market in changing deeply. However, the need for electricity uh, will unlikely decrease, and for this reason, more of these problem-solving solutions will be tried and experimented, and those that can answer best to the problem and can consciously be uh, added without destroying humanity will have the opportunity to be applied in the contemporaneous future and further. Lastly, there is one topic that also needs restructure, but not only is likely to be on the pathway, but it has been one of the major fo focus of this paper, being the fundamental for the BET system, but most of all working towards the augmented value of individuals, which is information structures and technology. To achieve an, and implement the BET, there is an important set of steps that regard on digitaliz digitalization and technological development. However, it is almost disseminated common knowledge that the future needs and to regard this as extremely valuable and to implement a BT is to value humanity through it. However, recently uh, the pandemic showed that if needed, humans can change in most amazing ways and in some not uh, so amazing, but is, it still relies on some specific structures to exist. 
but uh, because there isn't a plan or vision of how things can change and what should be the main essential goals and objectives set out in the future and what are the infrastructures that need to be preserved, restructured or revolutionized, many people started to disbelieve not only in the possibilities, but mostly on those uh, same structures, actions, uh, actions. However, because they are so relied upon them, it is difficult to substantially change them alone, which creates anguish and anger. Take in consideration the way the current system deals with the pandemic. First, the economic machine is forced to stop except all the systems that do not create wealth, like the wealthcare system. Second, the products needed to tackle it, like the, the case of the COVID-19 PPE ventilators and even basic disinfected products, or the infrastru infrastructures that exist to produce them, are not connected with the current economic market in such a way that the demand for these products is not market-attached forcing the fight between governments and groups to soil themselves in actions uh, and auctions and strife through the display uh, of wealth in order to tackle simple basic needs. And the truth is not that there is a lack of resources, namely plastic, to tackle the lack of such products, but for it uh, work in the current system, necessity needs to be present and it cannot be a parent uh, necessity, but fully capital driven necessity. Third, governments um, to guarantee that are not fully collapsing economically, since production levels are low, at least through the eyes of the economic system, create ludicrous, uh, ludic ludicrous uh, measures to juggle up econ economy and to not collapse totally, which in turn create more ways for governing uh, for governmental institutions and others to break the law or be caught in uh, hypocritical positions, which, which create distrust by the public in the institutions in power that can even have the interest of the public in consideration, but are likely uh, exposed on their flaws, which enrages populations, which in turn use their lack of power to hold those uh, who held it accountable. Fourth, the lack of of, of training and knowledge and the subsequent need uh, to social distancing enforces many to try to search for more, um, but because skills like critical thinking and sort uh, oneself out are not modeled by the educational system, many fall for lies and self-world uh, bubbled beliefs that in turn contaminate uh, uh, the education, uh, the information pools, and contribute for social clashes instead of co cooperating in uh, uh, cooperating uh, in problem solving. Fifth, um, even though uh, in, in, in essential infrastructures and basic needs are uh, highlighted, the bureaucracy and the protocols that are implemented can help individuals to reach out and enlarge their sets of skills and knowledge. And the ways that they can act and produce value is not only uh, underappreciated, but in many cases disregarded. And finally, the whole system uh, regards on literal saving of uh, specific institutions uh, through the injection of new money, which can contribute to inflation if, if we regard actual economic standards that uh, lack um, the overall uh, improvement of uh, society and contribute almost nothing to augment its value, disregarding the necessities of its population and contributing for its impoverishment and debilitating their future.